Now, in, in general, um, in general, we have always tried to tried to look into overseas investments that that can have certain Chinese angle, right? Um, you try to look into companies that can benefit uh, from the access to China market. Now, if you think about you now, yes, you have seen uh, CIC as, as well as a lot of other Chinese investors into natural resources uh, in the past past few years, and more recently, you know, probably get into uh, other sectors like the consumer sectors as well as tech tech, uh, tech sectors, so on and so forth, right? And, and these are all related to related to the China angle, and in some way reflects the the change, right? The change uh, in the in the in the China angle, because several years ago, right, in the in the middle of crisis, the the China economy was more focused on maintaining the growth, maintaining the growth, and actually expecting most of the growth coming from emerging markets. Uh, so, so with that, uh, you can imagine uh, a lot of the investment thinking was related to like emerging markets, natural resources, uh, energy mining, uh, even agriculture, um, and then infrastructures, uh, because that was the that that was the China angle then, mm -hmm. right? You would say, you know, if if China is the biggest import of copper, then probably it's good to uh, to look into copper assets overseas because when you invest in those companies and the China demand drives the copper price up, you, you, you actually get to the benefit of that, uh, reflect, you know, the, you, you, can you, have, you can benefit from that and it could be reflected in your investment value, right? Yeah, that, that's a very natural thinking. Now, the, uh, there's a consumer kind of story, um, the, the technology kind of story are, are, are similar, right? They, you would, you would think that you know, with the, you know, actually this is a very good way tie back to the book China's mobile economy and the middle class consumers. But you would think that if you invest in a consumer brands uh, in in the U.S. Uh, or in Australia, let's say dairy dairy products, milk products in Australia, and there's a huge growth uh, in in the middle class spending on high quality milk products for babies, uh, then. Uh, you, you get a new kind of uh, new kind of uh, China angle there. <laughs>